In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this soft, easy, and glamorous Valentine's Day makeup look for last minute in very simple steps. So before further ado, let's just jump into it. ignore the hair part and we'll take care of that in the end so I did a skincare for this makeup um, there's a video right here I'm gonna tag make sure to watch that as a, a prepping for Valentine's Day whether you want to put makeup or not but it's just optional um, I thought I make that for you guys it's really quick and fast make sure to watch that after um, putting your skincare the next step is um, sunscreen if you are going out if it's an outside event if it's in the daytime you must 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 put um, sunscreen because sunscreen protects your skin from everything after sunscreen is um, primer which I have this primer that I'm using in this makeup today Okay, this is definitely not fragrance free. I smell stuff in there, it smells good, but a lot of people don't like that. Um, make sure to watch out for that. So I'm gonna be using this Tarte um, setting spray in between all my layers. This is what I always do to make my makeup stay longer, prettier and glowy and, and hydrated. So right after primer, I like to spray this, just like one or two something called reverse contouring so I'm gonna be doing something like that today um, I usually don't do that it's just that on beautiful days glamorous days I like to do that because it makes my makeup look so good so first thing I'm gonna go with Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I'm gonna put this on my high points only now I'm gonna use a brush to blend this out this to just make sure not to take a lot of products away with beauty blender you happen to take a lot away and this flawless filter the point of it is to make glowy and and very soft and like a flawless type of filter so that's why a brush it's a good idea to use now I'm gonna cream contour really quick I'm gonna put everything in the description no worries since I have a small forehead so I'm just gonna do around here not all over and then just a little bit here I'm going to use a brush from Morphe and just um, blend these. I think we look pretty much sculpted and bronze. So now I'm going to go ahead and use a concealer to highlight the higher points of my face. So I like to put like a, a small dot on each side because I don't want to put too much. Then a little bit on the forehead to highlight. And that's it. Now I'm gonna use a sponge from Elf Cosmetics. All I'm gonna do is blend this part just like this. And I'm gonna drag it down a little bit. So dragging your concealer upward, it just helps to lift your face. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some cream blush. Since we're doing all cream, so might as well just do some cream blush. I hate putting blush right here, it makes me look a little bit chubby, but putting it up here makes me a little bit thinner. I love, love this blush. It's so cute. The packaging is amazing. I love it. Tarte Cosmetic Highlight. This is the Maria Cuje Juicy Glow, which has became my obsession lately. So we're going to put a little bit of here. Look already. Use your fingers right on top. Look how glowy it looks. Now I'm going to apply a little bit foundation uh, from She Glam. So I have uh, two of them, which one is light and one is a little bit dark. So what I do is mix these together. Just a little bit I grab with my fingers. I'm using the It Cosmetic brush, which I use for the flawless filter. All I do, clean the brush first and then I go like this. Go on the areas that's, um, that needs coverage. So like right here, I just make sure I blend everything out. Nothing looks too harsh. Now we have set everything pretty much. So 
I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty banana powder. I love, love, love this powder. I have like a very in-depth video on how to avoid the under eye creasing. And then I go uh, right under there with the powder, pressing onto my skin. As you guys can see, clay matte waterproof bronzer, very lightly on top of the stuff we just did. The next step is the blush. We have to set our blush because we used cream blush. It's such a pretty blush from Tarte Cosmetics. Just tap, tap, tap of this. Wow, obsessed. The last step for the face is the highlight. My favorite part, I'm using the Rare Beauty. I do, I mix them up together because it gives me such a beautiful color. And this brush is also from Rare Beauty. It came with this. You see that? Oh my god, I am so obsessed. So last part to the face is to set everything with a powder, finishing powder, pressed powder, whatever powder that you use that, that's like your skin color. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. But what I do, this is like my favorite powder, I grab some and I just set the whole area that I didn't apply powder. Last, start the eyes. Um, first thing, the eyebrows. I like to clean anything that's sitting on my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna use uh, NYC the brow glue. So all I do is just brush this upward. Not like up, up, but like to the side. I like to go with a Stick it or stick it from NYX so I can get some pigmentation, some color, if anything, if anywhere looks a little bit empty. This is the fastest way to do your eyebrows using these two little guys. I'm gonna use the L uh, Pro Conceal from LA Girls or LA Girl, and then I'm just gonna conceal under my eyebrows, it makes it look sharper and prettier. use a small brush and just buff out the edges of this concealer I don't want it to disappear I just I'm um, blending the edges towards my eyes eyelid is super easy nothing too dramatic we're doing a smoky eye look so we're gonna use the Huda Beauty palette because there's so many neutral colors there and that's what I need I'm gonna go with the mirror I'm just now blending this and dragging this out so the next color that I'm gonna use from this palette is gonna be the henna and I'm gonna mix that with cocoa. Put a dot here. I'm just gonna blend this with the other one. And keeping it in the inner corner, I'm not gonna drag it upward. I'm just gonna keep it closer to my eyelid because it's just a smoky, simple eye look. Then I'm gonna use a small, tiny brush and mix a little bit of the black truffle with the cocoa and I wanna keep it this very very close to waterline like right here keep it in the inner corner now i'm just going to quickly do the lower lashes i'm going to keep this really really close to my waterline so we can get that little chocolate burn color now i'm going to go with a very light nude color in the inner corners like i want to keep it plain okay so you're gonna grab some on the brush. All you have to do is just place it right there. I'm gonna put a little bit highlight in the inner corner. I usually put a little bit right here and a little bit right here. And then I put a little bit on the bone. And what I do, I go back here and make sure to blend that too and dragging it upward a little bit, like raise the hair. I'm gonna put a layer of setting spray till I finish the rest of my makeup. We need a small, tiny bit of liner. Now I'm gonna do, uh, put some mascara. This mascara is from Maybelline. So I'm gonna use this lashes from Kiss Party collaboration with Mary Dot um, Daxberry called Diva. 
they're so cute first of all always make sure that your lashes are sides up to your eyelid depending on how you want it wow these are so cute i think i like it the way it is okay so the lashes are done and they're so cute now we're gonna do a lip liner with lipstick and i bought this for valentine's day from uh kylie and this is in the shade mary joe okay lip liner is super super soft and i love how it just draws without struggle uh, this one is a little bit matte which is what you need for valentine's day one uh we want to have something that's valentine's day proof like kiss proof so last thing i'm gonna apply a little bit more setting spray I'm gonna go get my hair done really quick and I'll be right back guys. A Valentine's is not a Valentine's if you don't wear a red dress and a lipstick, right? So I actually am obsessed with this look. It came out really pretty and we can flip our hairs this way if we want to or we can just keep it to the front and then with these cute little earrings. <laughs> Last thing I like to do usually before getting out of the house I use this iconic setting spray and this just brings that vampire looking skin like that glowy skin that is so trending right now so then I like to go ahead and give myself some fan oh my god you guys I want to know what are you guys planning for Valentine's Day let me know in the comments and my plan is I am taking hubby for a dinner this is the first year i ask him out to date it's usually like the man does it but this year i wanted to do it i wanted to be the romantic one so i booked this really really cute place in um uh, in, in the beach uh, they do the whole decoration set up with like really nice candles and like the sunset and then after that we're gonna have a dinner so super duper cute we're gonna have some photography there um make sure to watch my instagram i'm gonna put the instagram right here so make sure to watch my stories and that's it for today guys what do you guys think about this look would you try a look for valentine's day are you going on a date or not we can always switch the color to something nude but i want to keep it this way and and that's it guys let me give you guys a couple model shots Thank you so much for watching if this video was helpful to you give your girl a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel consider subscribing i post every single week all about beauty and makeup and i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy your valentine's day and let me know all about it in the comments love you guys bye